Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Okay, we are going to tie probably the most simple and most effective fly on the planet, the zebra midge. Um, you know, this is one of the flies that, that probably is one of the first ones you learn. And uh, fly shops sell a ton of these because they just plain work. Anyway, uh, I've got my hook in the vise a little bit funky so they can put a bead on it first. But uh, this is a Daiichi 1120 in size 18. And these are effective anywhere from a size 14 to about a 22. Um, but size 18 really is my bread and butter in this exact color we're going to tie. So I've got a 2.4 millimeter bead that I'm going to put on. And I've got the, the bead rigged so that the, the small hole in the bead is ready to go on the hook first. If I can get it in there. So just like that. And see how that's kind of hanging up right there? If I just kind of take my finger and, and pop it, it will get right in place. Now you can also use a 2 millimeter bead on this, but the 2.4 really gets it down as well. So once I have the bead in place, I'm going to flip the hook um, into a normal position. Now, as you can see, you barely need to put the hook in the vise for it to be held there. So um, what I'm going to do now is just take my thread and I'm going to hold the tag end up my my bobbins down low and I'm going to come in from behind the hook take a few wraps forward with my thread and then wrap back over my wraps in order to start my thread now I can drop my bobbin and trim off the uh, the excess okay so this fly is really simple um, before I even take my thread back down the bend, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some small UTC, th UTC wire in gold and uh, trim off a little bit. And I always use some alternate scissors so, so you don't cut wire with your good scissors. And I'm going to cut off a chunk and uh, I'm going to take my wire and just kind of lay it perpendicular to the hook shank like this and then catch it with my thread with two or three wraps and then just pull it into place till that tip of that wire goes right behind the bead and now I'm going to start wrapping down the hook shank now this is a tiny hook it's hard to get back here where, where your, your zebra midge is going to go so the easiest way to get back there is just to adjust your hook in the vise up just a little bit like this so that you can get it where you need to be so I'm gonna hold on to the wire keep it on one side of the hook and then just advance my thread back to about right there and uh, maybe a little bit more you don't want to go too far down the bend of the hook because then you impede the ability to hook fish so once I have it down there I'm gonna move my hook back where it's supposed to be and then uh, what I'm going to do is uh, take my thread and twist it counterclockwise because that that takes all the the twists out of the thread that I've put in from from tying so far and that allows me to lay down a very smooth body which I think is critical on this flyer makes it look more clean just because the thread is what shows the thread is what builds the body of this fly you're left-handed tie or you're lucky because it you know you're automatically taking the the twist out of your thread just by tying the fly so there we have a, a decent taper doesn't have to be perfect um, and then I'm going to just going to take my wire and evenly space some wraps all the way up the hook Until you get to the front, tie off the wire with some tight wraps and then I always come in front of the wire with some more wraps. If you do that it will be nice and tight so you can just take your wire and helicopter your wire so that it just breaks right off. 
So technically you could fish that just as is. Um, I always like to add a little bit of dimension of flash. So as you can see, I have just a few fibers of this black ice stub. And I'm just going to put barely enough on this thread just to make it dirty a little bit. See that? So as I wrap this on the zebra midge, it should push it kind of behind that bead to seat it in place. And uh, that's about as much dubbing as I'm going to put on this fly. And now I'm just going to whip finish it. And then uh, to finish it off, I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, this head cement. So because it's such a small fly, the easiest way to do this is just put a little bit on the bead and it will kind of run down into those thread wraps. There's a little bit more than I wanted, but that's fine. See how that just seeped right in? So there you have it. There's a zebra midge. Now be creative with this. Buy, tie it in a bunch of different sizes. Tie it in different colors. Um, try different wire colors. Uh, one of the best colors we use is a copper bead, brown thread, and blue wire with brown ice dub. Anyway, very simple fly, but it's very, very effective. It's caught basically every species, including marlin and tiger muskie. That might be a lie.